Miss Mexico. Senor. This is the same question everyone has received. What is the most difficult problem facing your country today, and what do you think should be done about it? Well, I think the most recently thing we have in the hands is the free trade. We are working on it. And I think it will be hard for my country because we have to compete with a very advanced technology from other countries that are regions than that we are. But I know we're going to make it. I know we are a big country and our people is great. So I feel hope with my people. Thank you very, very much. Thank you, sir. And I will step over here. Same question for everybody. Everybody in there? OK. If you became leader of your country tomorrow, what is the first thing you would do? I would speak to the children, tell them that I'm there for them, because they, they are the foundation of our every nation. And I'd like them to know that I'm there for them. Thank you very much. If you would please step over here and wait a moment. Miss India. Sushmita Sen, if you'd stand right here, please. And your question is, what for you is the essence of being a woman? Um, I think being a woman by itself, the very fact that you're a woman is a gift of God, which all of us must appreciate. The origin of a child is a mother and is a woman. And, and, and a woman is the one who shares love and who shares and shows a man what love, caring, sharing is all about. That is the sense of a woman. That is Miss India. If you'd step right here, please. And Miss USA. Chelsea Smith. Same question that Miss India had is, if you had the power to do anything you wished to improve the status of women in your country, what would you do? Well, actually, I think they have come a long way so far. Um, I do wish that people would look at women as just as they look at all men, it, just equally in power. I know a lot of women that can do anything that they choose, and I am one of those women, and there are 80, 80 of these women that are here today. So I think that women are doing very well, but I'd like to see people treat them as they should. Okay, Miss USA, step right over here. Join Miss India, please. Next is Miss Venezuela. La pregunta es, ¿qué tú crees que puede aprender los hombres de las mujeres? Yo considero que muchísimas cosas, porque gracias a nosotras, los hombres están aquí y están en este momento, en este teatro, aplaudiéndome a mí, que soy una mujer, y me aplauden porque estoy en un concurso de belleza. I believe that they can learn very much because thanks to us women, the men are here in this beautiful theater seeing this beautiful contest and applauding me because I am a beautiful woman. All right, thank you, Mr. Israel. Right over there, please. Now, may I ask Miss USA to join us? You didn't hear anything, did you? All right, here's the final question. If there were no rules in your life for one day, and you could be outrageous, what would you do? I would eat everything <laughs> in the world. You do not understand. I would eat everything twice. <laughs> Thank you, Miss USA. <laughs> Thank you. 
is Trinidad and Tobago. A woman, the question is a woman has just awakened after being asleep for 20 years. What do you tell her she has missed? Oh, she's missed so much in terms of technology, but unfortunately she's also missed our lack of sensitivity to our environment. Uh, she'll miss now clean air, uh, regular climates, that kind of thing. We, I'm going to tell her that we have to, or I should say, we are in the process of turning that around, but that's what she's missing in my opinion, fresh air and a good, a, a good earth, a good clean earth. I agree with you completely. Thank you. Thank you. Baswana. Your question is, if Miss Universe were to become pregnant during her reign, should she be allowed to continue as Miss Universe? Personally, I think Miss Universe is a symbol of a woman as well. She's celebrating her femininity. And I believe that, thank you. And I believe that if she should fall pregnant, it will not in any way interrupt her duties. I believe that as a woman, she should celebrate her femininity. Thank you. That's fine. India, same question, same amount of time. That's your fan club. Here's your final question. Right now, there's a protest going on right outside here calling the Miss Universe pageant disrespectful of women. Convince them that they're wrong. I think pageants. I think pageants like the Miss Universe pageant gives us young women a platform to foray into the fields that we want to and forge ahead, be it entrepreneurship, be it the armed forces, be it politics. It gives us a platform to voice our choices and opinions and makes us strong independent that we are today. Thank you. Thank you, India.